going on guys? Victor here. Adam for moving weight. What up boys? Chico behind the wheel. There you go. It's safe to say we had a good day. Do you guys want to see how we caught all these fish? And this giant mutton snapper. Adam's biggest mutton snapper. All of these fish were caught humanely, legally, and the only reason they're out right now is because we're pulling up to the house and they're all going to the fish market right now. So, hope you guys enjoy today's video. All right guys, we're out here starting out the video. We got a beautiful day behind us. Starting you off right to the show. Throw a hook greenie. So we just came out of the inlet, did a little bait fishing. We got like 80 baits. Adam says we have nowhere near enough. We don't. We just, look at the well. What are we gonna do? We're about to run out of bait right now. I just fished my first one. We got some very Petite, and I mean petite, like perfect little greenies in there, also known as threadfin herring. I'm just freelining a live greenie on my kingfish setup here, and endless options. Catch big muttons on them, cobia, kingfish, dolphin, everything eats it. Everything eats a triple hook. And uh, I throw hooked my bait, you saw, so he's swimming down, he's going down deep. And we can't forget, we got good old Scout Meister on the boat. Say what's up, Scout. Scamster. Yeah. All right, Adam just got smoked on a live greenie. Gotta be very king-esque. I don't know, Chief. Look how it's coming up this fish. Yeah, but those flyers got up. They don't usually. I'm about to find out what it is. You know, I say everything's a copia. I go, oh, my bait's getting nervous. Sure enough. Smoke. It's a king. It's a pretty good one. It feels, it, it's the most copia-esque feeling. Look at the head shake. Yeah. Oh, copia. Cobia, is it? Yeah. Or a big king? What's it's a king, it's a king. It's a big king fish. Oh my gosh. What, what nice. a Nantucket sound? That is a good one. Yeah, nice, nice king. Nice he way. was just like slowly going like this. That's why I thought it was a cobia. You saw that? Yeah, I saw it. Oh, he was slow. He did not know he was close. No, he didn't. This is a big fish. He didn't fight it all yet. Hey, listen real quick, boys. Hate to do a little self promo, but I'm gonna do it. I'm, I'm about to hit 30K on YouTube. I'm at 29,000 and like 40 subscribers. If we can make it happen before May 1st. Oh, my reel's going backwards. Here we go. I can't let go. It's moving weight fishing. I think we'll have a link down below or popping up somewhere in the video. I'm just gonna slide to you. Nope. Damn. Oh, you saw that. Oh, you cheat. Oh, my. That's the right side. Oh, I'm so glad I'm wearing boots out there. That's the right side for the first thing. Look at that. Double hook right in the corner. Wow. Don't need wire. No, you do not. You do the double hooks or the triple hooks? He's about to cut me off right now. There we go. Giant kingfish. Add right, him on again. On the triple hook. This reel's janky. Feels up. like it's got weight to it. Hey, it? Straight and straight down. I don't know what it said. He's staying straight down. Looks like a bottom feel fish. Like, yeah, sure. it ain't a kingfish. Yeah, it's got, it might be tag cheap. <laughs> <laughs> but it's not May first, huh? No, it's not. This is a gag. Oh, that's much, some of the most gag s. That's a big mutton, dude. Might be. Straight down. Oh no, it looks like a. Oh my god, is that a big mutton? Oh, big, big mutton. Big mutton. Wow. <laughs> On the triple. Oh, oh, oh my. Keep up. Keep up. Thing. Those are there. That's a nice one. We catch more on the free swimming greenie than anything. Holy smoke. Go, that down. might be my biggest mutton. Really? My biggest is 14. That's got to be 14. Smoke, that man. fish fought harder than that bigger kingfish. I'm telling you. Look at this. On I mean, that's that's a big mutton. You saw my rods get super heavy? Yes. Nice. So sick. Look how pretty they're. 
This is, this is, I'm so happy right now. I don't, I couldn't catch anything else for us today. I don't care. This is it for me. Oh, I saw that. That's him. You get him? Hey, yeah. Good job, he's a keeper. There you go. There you go, Adam. We're, we're bankrupt. Are you kidding me? Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Scoosh. Unreal. Everything you thought you knew about mutton fishing, throw out the door. You don't, you don't know about it. So we got a few kingfish bites. Adam caught that giant one. But right now we're throwing the hook. Chief really wants the mutton fish. So you guys always see us fish this. Oh, this Adam, is what you fish for. Oh my God. <laughs> so oh, this is, the this is what you guys see as fish during uh, the commercial kingfish season. It's literally just a line of three hooks, and you hook your live bait with the last hook. It kind of acts as like your steel leader, but the way that you get these baits to swim, a lot of times they'll go down. But these muttons, like Adam's mutton came up probably 20 feet below the surface in like 70 feet of water, and Chief actually has caught his biggest one that way. Listen, but we got to anchor. This is a tide you dream of. Look at this. Look at you. Just look at you. Show them the tide by the moment. Once again, the fancy reel coming out. Uh, I guarantee uh, you this thing catches the biggest mutton of the day. Yeah. Chief's love language is mutton snapper. This, this is a real mutton guy. Get him. You spit it? Yeah, he's there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you're Oh god, that's a big uh, one, Vic. Hey, hold that one up. That one was a little short, boys. Oh yeah. Check this out, guys. This is a secret old timer trick. That was not an age reference, by the way. <laughs> the chief. <laughs> so the deal is you gotta get through the stomach meat because that will this will pull off eventually. So but this will send it. Should be a little red dot. Slide yeah, it's a Martin. Oh, well, sure. He's a keeper. He's a keeper. Slowly but surely, just gotta call him in. Yo, Chief, doing it again. Nice 19 incher, 20 incher. <laughs> oh, Vic, Vic, drop that. You just got smoked. Tick. Chief. I know you. What's up, beauty? want some camera time. Just, just stand you can't just seat. ignore him. And then he had to eat you off. Dude, he's there, bro. I'm yeah, telling you, he's, he's got a sleeper. Slammed. You got a sleeper. Oh, that's a good Martin to bro. Get him off. He's going to the, he's going to the wreck. All right, All right Chief. All right, you got him. Get I'm telling you, bro. He, he, he ticked it in the rod holder. I'm telling you, that bite was too good. There's like, no way he wasn't there with it. Nick's got a little sleeper. Is he a keeper sleeper? Chief or meeper? Oh, uh, might be a jack, guys. Wow, I, that, that's very Nantucket-esque. I just gave Chief yellowfin tuna from the Bahamas, and here he is talking about Amberini sashimi. Disrespect's on him. You went to the Bahamas a week ago. Why is Chief just getting it now? That's the real question, huh? 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 I don't think Because I was moving weight. And muttons, they'll come by once every five, ten minutes. It's not instant usually. So if you got a bunch of little fish pecking at your bait, sometimes they rip it off the hook before mine gets to it. It looks instant on the camera, but it's not. Everything's instant for you guys. We're out here all day for you guys. You know the deal. That's why you got. That's why you guys got to drop the like button yeah. right now. What's the deal with that? So you guys have been hearing me say this a lot lately, but it's actually kind of crazy. 70 to 75 percent of you guys who watch the videos are not subscribed. So it's like. If you're gonna watch anyway, might as well subscribe. You're gonna get notified if the video comes out. And hey, if you don't wanna watch it, you don't gotta watch it, but at least you'll be subscribed. It's free, and it means a lot to Papa Vic. Right, Vic? That's right. So we're just picking away at fish. It's not crazy hot, but you got these things down there, which Adam and Chief can sell. Look at this guy's tail. That thing has been long healed. Looked like he uh, escaped a shark or a dolphin or something. Scout, what do you gotta say? Scout just woke up from his nap. He's a little tired. Oh my god, that's a good fish. You're gonna have to lead her up yourself, okay? Yeah, I got it. That's a good fish. Find like a grouper, isn't he? It is very good. Okay, Patrick, I'll let you know. Check spot. Ah, sorry. Oh, it's like a oh yeah. No, it's not. 
It's a mutton? Mutton or red snapper? Oh, it is oh a it's a red snapper. Mutton. Red snapper. Yeah, it is. Sadly. Nice, nice true red. Oh, man. So this, these guys get big. Just as big as muttons, even bigger. Beautiful red snapper. These are what we target when we went to Panama City. You guys saw that video with Josh. We're gonna be back there this June. Sometimes they're only open for one weekend out of the entire year in the in state of Florida. There's different regulations on both coasts, but on the East Coast, you don't get very many chances at keeping them. So we're gonna send them on his way. But look at how, how sick that is. Looks sick. Release, releasing this red snapper here. All right, you boys, we got cheap over here fishing a live greenie. Has hooked some nice fish, but hasn't landed yet. I just put down dead, I killed a greenie, and I butterflied his tail, just like that. So it looks like he's swimming, he's got the scent and everything. And Vic's gonna know, here you go. I don't know what I was doing. I don't know either, here. Look at this. That's Scoop, a, that's a fish out of the well, Vic. That's I got you a bait. very organic. I got you a bait. Look, he's just gonna be flapping there in the current. Woo! Nice and deep. Yes. That one was down there. Nothing else messed with it. That mutton got it, so we'll see. Did you ever put a new battery in yours? Yeah, it's on. It's on, it's on, it's on. Hey, Chief, I'll send one down real quick, all right? Keep doing that. <laughs> Adam just caught this nice mutton. Oh, I got oh, oh. Nice ones, Woo. too. A little oceanic in your life never hurt. Go the cigars. Underneath, sardines, sardines, underneath, underneath. Oh my god, oh my god. Big, 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 big. What's the dealing itis? Yeah. Oh, oh big. You catch a couple sardines. Chief got himself a uh, 10, 15 pound amberjack. Gonna release it though, because they can't keep it and sell it commercially right now because it's out of season. Yo, Vic Meister. Got another one? No. Oh, that's a candy. Cherry candy? Wow, there's nothing like the feeling of mono. Yeah, the mono is the most sensual feeling. So good. Bait down too. Did your GoPro on? Yeah. This thing wouldn't even be keeper recreational size, but commercially they gotta be a lot bigger than recreationally, but they can't keep them anyway because it's out of season. <laughs> This is what we came back out for, baby. Ready? Yep. Oh. oh my god! Stop eating it. Let's eat it. Watch it. <laughs> you guys gotta see how insane this is. Look at this. It's going off. Look, we've been waiting Woo! for a picture on this mic. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thousands of them down there. Let's see how instant. Look, I've used this bait on three amberines so far. Watch it. <gasps> Look at all the sharks. Oh my god. Come on, where's some? I want to see how. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Insanity. Insanity. Oh my gosh, look at them, they're so solid. Adam, where are you? Coming! Jeez! Look at the most raggedy bait of my life. Oh my god. Smoke. You're not letting them eat. I don't got to let them eat. Jim, get in. Wait, 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 wait. Where are you going? How salty are you? It doesn't hurt. The fish are up. The fish are up. This man's got a hook in his finger, says, I'm fine, I'm gonna go back to fishing. Jeep's got the hook! Jeep's got the hook in his hand. Still. Look at this, little tail scrap piece. What do you think, Vic? 
gonna get tired. Let's see how many seconds. Bam. That was less than three seconds. <laughs> Show him the hook. Show him the hook. <laughs> yeah, 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 in a minute. <laughs> yeah, yeah, in a minute. He's too much of a legend. Oh. <laughs> I remember. Oh, they're going crazy. Uh oh. Pulling drag, that ain't good. Bad? No, we, you guys, we just dealt them. Look at all this. I'm married. I'm married I, to the game. Adam is so happy right now. I've yeah, never seen him so on. fired up. That was the sickest, boys. We haven't been in a bite like this in a long time. Chief literally has a hook in his head, and he was just dealing. Was Look. Like, oh, Chief, here, let me cut it for you. All right, stand still. Okay. Gotta cut the hook and then yeah, pull do it not out the pull other side. It. I'm not. <laughs> okay, ready? Yep. Three. Perfect. Perfect. Wow. Life has been a <laughs> cheap. He made it out the house. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what I was going to say is anyone who thinks there's a problem with this, number one, it is all legal. They do everything by the book. Number two, rod and reel commercial fishing is much more sustainable than netting. So please keep the comments okay. to a minimum. We're going to put them all in the fish box and then slush them with some salt water and then they'll all get real super cold. All right guys, we just got back to the dock and the only reason you see the fish out on the deck right now is because we're about to take them to the fish market. So they're all nice and cold. Look, they're, they're ice cold. So I don't... Prime. I get, I get it in the comments you guys get upset because our fish aren't on ice. They were on ice all day. We literally took them out two minutes ago just so we could throw them in this trash can. It's the only way to do it. They are going to be off ice for a total of three minutes. They're going in this little trash can, going to Chief's truck, which is a, has a huge fish box in it, going into more ice, straight to the fish market, and then straight to your local grocery store or restaurant or wherever these fish end up. Everybody wants to eat fish got to get there somehow right and Doesn't this is probably the most it does not grow from a tree you can't just go and pick one out so anybody who eats chicken or steak from the grocery store that's all farm raised well this is wild-caught seafood at its finest